Troy Sage here of Sage & Associates with teams in California and Arizona and we're going to touch on the topic of discount brokerages. Those of you that have been around for a while know that uh, For Sale by Owner and Help You Sell have been around for a long time but what I want to talk about is this new trend in four particular companies I'm going to talk about uh, that are offering discount services. So we're going to talk about Homey.com, we're going to talk about OfferPad, Open Door, and Purple Bricks. Okay, let's talk about Homey.com. This is a newer company. They started in Utah. They have uh, moved their way into Arizona and they are on a fast track to start dipping into different markets. So, as a seller, number one thing I want you to think about is to get the ball rolling, they are going to charge you a minimum of $1,500 to $2,000 just to see if you want to work with them. They're going to take some pictures, throw it in the MLS, and then they're going to still have to offer out a commission to the buyer's agent. So how much money are you really saving? Do they have a fiduciary duty to you to protect you, negotiate on your behalf, and make sure you're getting top dollar? Most importantly, what are they doing for marketing besides putting it in the MLS, providing a sign, and praying a buyer shows up? That's old school. That's not how it works anymore. You need an aggressive agent that's going to spend money, market, and make the deal happen for you, and negotiate on your behalf. Now. I just heard late, or earlier this week that, I don't have confirmation, but I heard earlier this week from another realtor here in Arizona that Homey.com is hiring agents that have expired licenses, hiring them on as employees and paying them $50 per house to show the home to buyers. Wow. That is totally bizarre. So if that agent doesn't even truly have an active license, they're acting as an employee for the broker to show properties, how engaged is that agent for a buyer? How are they gonna represent you and protect you and your assets and make sure that you're making the right choice? So discount a brokerage, think it through, and see if it's really gonna work for you. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Purple Bricks. Now, Purple Bricks has been rolling for a while. They have offices all over the country and they are pushing really hard to take a big market share. They are another discount brokerage that is trying to get business from buyers and sellers. So as sellers, I want you to think about this. Number one, they're offering this great deal of $3,600 to list your property flat fee. Okay, depending on the price point of your home, that might be a good deal for you. But think about this. They're just putting it in the multiple listing service. Again, with this company, they're gonna have to offer out some type of commission to the buyer's agent. So you as a seller, you're still paying out to the buyer's agent. Equally as important, what kind of marketing are they actually doing? I physically met a homeowner in Orange County that I was showing a property to one of my buyers. They caught me during the showing and asked me if I would show my buyers their property. I don't know, if you hire a top-notch agent, you're not doing any, any of that work like that. Additionally, when they work uh, with a seller, what really are they doing? Are they holding open houses? Are they marketing for you? And where is their marketing? Marketing is the key in getting a home sold for top dollar in short periods of time. What type of fiduciary duty do they have? Doesn't sound like a really uh, good fiduciary. Here's another story for you on Purple Bricks. I met a seller that tried to cancel an over, like I think it was a $1.2 million property in California. He was unhappy with their services and he did not read through the contract. And when he didn't read through the contract, he got burned pretty heavy. It cost him 2% of the list price to cancel his contract. For this gentleman, it was $22,000. He had to cut them a check to get rid of them and then move on to another agent that actually got the job done. So discount brokerages are fine, but you get what you pay for. Moving on to OfferPad. These guys are coming out really strong. Here's how it works. OfferPad, you send them your address. You tell them what your house is all about. They send you back a proposal. This proposal came in very high. They take the highest comps in the area and they get you very excited that you're gonna get top dollar for this house. Then what they say in their breakdown is they charge you a 9% service fee. Normal commissions are 6%. So you're already being charged 3% more. Then on the spreadsheet, what they also did was they charged a bogus, extremely high price, what they called a miscellaneous closing fee. Okay, now here's the next step. What they then do is 
if you agree to their price, they then send someone out to appraise your property in regarding to condition. And if it doesn't meet their standards, they will give you a checklist of everything that has to be done to get the dollar amount that they're offering you. Okay, bottom line is this. They're working with investors. They're gonna offer you a price not going to be top dollar. They're going to nickel a diamond debt. And even if your house is pristine, they're charging you a 9% service fee, which is 3% more than an average listing. So discount brokerage, maybe, but again, you get what you pay for. So be careful what you sign on to and read through everything on the website to see if it's going to work for you. Okay, let's talk about Open Door. This is another discount brokerage. And the way they work is you go on their website, you input all the information about your property. They are going to do a analysis or a quick CMA. They're gonna send you the highest comparable solds in the area. And they're gonna say, we will offer you this amount for your property. Before they give you that money, it's just a proposal. They're gonna send someone to your property to assess the condition if it does not have the latest and greatest cabinets in the kitchen and granite and brand new carpet and all the upgrades done to the home, they're going to, to deduct that at retail pricing off the net of your property. So if they offer you 200,000 and they feel it's gonna be $20,000 to bring it up to their standards, they're gonna change their offer to $180,000. So this may work for you if you're in a hurry, you just wanna get out of the house, take whatever you can and be gone. I have not found that to be the most successful way in working with sellers because we're trying to get them top dollar and get them into a situation where they're going to actually make some money off the property. Here's another thing with Open Door. Once they acquire your property, anyone can get the passcode to get in the house. And this is what's happening, I've seen it personally in Arizona, that even homeless people that have a cell phone can download the app, they go squat at that house, and it's ruining the house and the values of the neighborhood. So, I'm not saying any of these companies are bad, I'm saying look at what they truly have to offer. I know that sellers are looking for a deal. Everyone's looking for a deal. They want the best service at the lowest cost. That's like awesome and cheap at the same time. Let's be real, that doesn't happen. You don't go to Kmart or Target and get the same type of product or service that you do as Nordstrom. So if you're a seller or a buyer in a position trying to save some money, keep this in mind. You get what you pay for. That is the bottom line in life. You absolutely get what you pay for. So, think this through, buyers and sellers, read the fine print, look through everything to make sure that you understand exactly what's going on, and from that point in time, make a decision. It's always been my theory to pay a little bit more, to have great service, have guarantees, work with people that actually know the laws, have a fiduciary duty, a fiduciary duty to you to protect you and your assets. I appreciate all of you watching this video. I understand this is a little bit controversial. If you got anything to say, I got thick skin. Hit me with it. Let's talk. Throw me some questions. Uh, you don't like what I'm saying? I'm totally fine with that. If you like what I'm saying, let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. And as always, my friends, please make it a great day.